I think it is the best resolution for the government, the public, and myself, but it's unfortunately not possible in the face of current whistleblower protection laws, which through a failure in law did not cover national security contractors like myself. He's talking about his exchange with Edward Snowden today. Should he return to the U.S. to face trial? Yes, he, he should. He broke the law and he should be tried. I mean, I, the, the thing that's so odd about that statement is that even if contractors were covered by uh, whistleblower protections, they're not allowed to give, give it away and mm -hmm. simply give it to journalists and then go to China and then go to Russia. They're supposed to go through certain channels. So even if the law covered him, that would not be a protection for what Same he did. Same question you know, well, to you, Jessalyn. That, Should he return to the yeah. U.S.? A better question is, do you see a point in the future where Snowden does return to the U.S.? Yes, if he um, is pardoned or granted amnesty, which has been suggested by the future deputy director of the NSA and by the editorial boards of the New York Times and The Guardian and by tech industry giants who have all suggested amnesty or pardon. The problem with Mr. Tubin's argument is he would be tried under the Espionage Act, which has no whistleblower defense, no public policy defense, and in fact is a 1917 law meant to go after spies, not whistleblowers. As for the channel's argument, Mr. Tubin knows full well that another NSA employee, Thomas Drake, did go through every conceivable proper channel. His boss, the inspector general, both houses of Congress. And not only did he get no redress, he ended up being the one prosecuted for espionage. So no, Mr. Snowden is not going to come back to be tried under a law that would 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 provide only a show trial Very quickly, um, and not allow him a defense. Well, certainly this seems to be a an option for a negotiation that might go on to what he might plead to if he came back. I understand why he wouldn't want to plead uh, to a violation of the Espionage Act, but the Justice Department appears to be opening the door at least somewhat to some sort of lesser plea, but and they oh, know how to contact me. Well, Mr. Oh, Tubin and Ms. Radak, thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Still to come, a shocking story out of Illinois.